Listen, I'm trapped in here. <laughs> You're not for real. What happened? I don't know. I, I don't know. I've been in here all day. Oh my god. I don't I don't know what to do. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, what's your name? It's Grace. Grace, hi. I'm Tom. Okay, um, I think we're a little more than five miles from the trailhead, and I don't have any cell service out here. Grace, please go get help. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, Ted. Don't worry. I'll be right back. It's Tom. Oh. 
Choose your thoughts wisely, for they are what you become. These wounds won't seem to heal This pain is just too real There's just too much that time cannot erase When you cried I'd wipe away all of your tears When you screamed I'd fight away I held your hand through all of these years You still have all me stuck in here. Tom? Grace? Oh shit, Tom. I totally spaced. I'm sorry. Oh, that one's on me for reals, Tom. I'm so sorry. Seriously, Tom, my B. It's okay. So, uh, what have you been doing in there anyway? What have I been doing in the bathroom? Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, but I'm gonna get you out, Tom. I promise. I'm gonna get you out of this. Do you hear me, Tom? I'm gonna get you out of this sticky little pickle you've gotten yourself into. Do you have any food, any water? No. I'm so fucking thirsty. Do you? Uh, yeah, I have some water. Uh, why don't you push on the door while I pull and maybe we can get it unjammed. Tom, come on and push. We can make this work. I, um, I can't. I'm stuck to the seat. Someone must have super glued the seat, and now I can't get up. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck? Dude, are you serious? Man, that sucks. Uh, okay, well, the door's not stuck, so that's good. Why don't you come unlock the door and I'll try to come help you get unstuck. I can't reach it. It's too far away. 
I'm gonna get you out. I'm gonna get you out of this. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna make this better. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry, okay? I can't help you. I'm doing my best, but it's never good enough. You don't deserve this. I should have never gotten you into this situation. It's never enough. I'm sorry, Tom. Whoa, whoa. No, you, you didn't. It's okay. It's okay. We are gonna figure this out. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. I, I'm having a bit of a hard time in life right now. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, work is always crazy. And my dog hasn't been eating, and my boyfriend, or ex-boyfriend, Darren, he, uh... Anyway, that's why I've been coming running out here every day. It's the only place I feel sane. It's like, life plays Jenga with you. Pull out this block and put it on top. It gets less and less sturdy, but you can't let it fall. And just when things finally feel settled and you can pull your hand away, you have to take out another block. Best case scenario, someone else knocks it down before you screw it up. Life begins and ends with a mess. Jeez, man, what? What? I'm agreeing with you. Life is messy, and it seems like so often you have to choose between pain and loss. You stay in the game, you, you pull another block, and it hurts. Or you let yourself slip, and the whole thing is over. I can't pull another block. I. I can barely make it through the day. I just want to feel secure and it feels like things are just getting shakier and shakier. I don't know how much longer I can keep things steady. It feels like... Like you're hovering over a pile of your own shit. It's just this thing I've always done, I don't know. Interesting. So, how many forks have you stolen in total? Oh man, like a hundred. I have them all in a big box. <laughs> you don't use them? Well, I already have plenty of silverware, it's not about that. Ah, uh, you're in it for the rush. It's just this thing my dad always used to do when I was a kid. He's been gone for a while, and it kind of reminds me of what life was like when he was around. Whoa. Yeah. I've never told anyone that before. I... I messed up, Tom. I messed up really bad. What? What do you mean? With Darren. I threw a waffle iron at his head. We were having a fight, and he said some really hurtful things to me. It's not an excuse, but it happened. I told him to leave, and he did. And he left the house, and I haven't heard from him in 12 days. I'm worried I really fucked up. Hey. Hey, it's okay. We all make mistakes. It got really ugly, Tom. I don't recognize myself lately. <laughs> That's funny to you? Uh, no. No, it, it's just something my ex-wife used to say. You were married? 
for nine years. But um, we lost our daughter, Teresa. And after that, whatever held us together just seemed to dissolve. I couldn't stop yelling and she couldn't stop crying. The love was there, but we never... Uh... So we took a long break. She went back to Portugal to be with her family. She left? She did. They're both gone. Whiskey for a while there. I guess I was never much of a runner. <laughs> <sighs> we haven't spoken in two years. I don't think I ever truly gave up on her. Not the way I gave up on myself. I'm still stuck in the love. Or the grief, I don't know. I think I just need someone to pull me out of the darkness. Yeah, yeah. I won't give up. We can, we can make it out of this. We can be together. Oh man, you really unlocked something. It's a leap of faith. Believing there's someone there for you. Someone to help you when you're alone. When you feel like the world is closing in. Somewhere safe to land. I thought I had given up hope, but... I don't know. I think I'm starting to believe again. You know what I mean, Grace? Grace. Grace. Grace, are you going to get help? Grace! Grace! No! Always ends the same When it was me and you But every time I need somebody new It's like deja vu Oh. Smells like a bathroom.